Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we are playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, and this is just going to be my general video for updates for the week. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we did get a new Union Cross uh, mission, and you know, this is uh, really shocking because when a lot of people saw it for the first time, the first thing they noticed was right here. One of the boards that this comes with is a magic broom set. Now, it only gives you one broom, but it's definitely the start of giving us more brooms, which is really, really good. I was so in disbelief that I actually went ahead and did all the Union Crossboards as of uh, last night. So, I, I had to make sure, I had to make sure it wasn't a trap, that it wasn't a trick. So, let me, let me just show you guys. It's, it's right, right here. There it is. The uh, Magic Broom Board and... Right at the end there is the magic broom. So we're starting to get into the part of the game where magic brooms will be offered more frequently, hopefully, because this this it all just rolls downhill. The first time they gave us magic mirrors, we only got one per avatar board. Now we're getting like we're getting magic mirrors pretty much everywhere for like anything. So that's the main big part of that new Union Cross mission. And it also comes with a, uh, a leafy scarf, which looks like this weird, almost bulbasaur kind of leafy thing that looks like it's sort of actually kind of choking you instead. Um, so I, I don't particularly like the aesthetics of it. And I unlocked the, the uh, boards yesterday, as you saw. It doesn't come with any sort of like chat phrase, so that was kind of disappointing. Um, but, you know, the main thing is that magic room set. The, the uh, avatar part is going to give you the raid boss Omega Pert, which is pretty solid, especially if you are a raider. And then the rest of it is just the Union Cross uh, explanation. So let's go ahead and take a look at our avatar parts and... Oop, that's avatar boards. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our avatar parts, and then we will really see how useful the uh, that new accessory is. So let's go ahead and filter out for raid perk raid boss omega perks so as you can see we already have a few things that have that plus five perk on them the aladdin brooch the juggler necklace the uh, gingerbread boy scarf so that's not really new news but if you are starting if you're new if you're starting to get into the raid scene all these past avatar boards you know they were long gone so they might come back soon but if you do need that omega plus five perk this is definitely a way to get it. All right, moving along, we have gem boards. And if you really want the full explanation of these, go ahead, hop back to the last time we got them. I did a really, really long explanation of uh, why I think these are worth it, as well as, you know, like Keyblade compatibilities, stuff like that. Uh, but a quick five second run of that video is get these if you want to improve your Keyblades which is easily the best way to improve in the game because it doesn't rely on like random number generating sorry i had like a weird like burp thing building up but it didn't you know didn't happen um but it's really really good to raise your keyblades level because that is a stagnant number the multipliers you get are not going to fluctuate they are just a set number and you don't have to worry about any sort of craziness going on so having the uh, gems in order to level up those keyblades is easily in my opinion the best way to get better at this game again for the full explanation go ahead check out that older video if i remember i will link it in the description below moving along now we have our gauntlet quests so i'm really honestly disappointed in these uh gauntlet quests because they used to give us a total of 1,400 jewels at the end of it, but it's the end of day two, and I believe we've only gotten a total of 160. I don't know if they're trying to even it out by giving us things like gems, which again are really good. They're really good for powering yourself up, but to have the gems replace jewels doesn't seem fair in my opinion, just because... Uh, if you don't need any more gems, but you need jewels, then you're kind of out of luck. 
uh, but the reverse is also true where you could need more gems and you don't need any jewels, which is just never true. You always need jewels for something. Um, so, I don't know. I really hope that we move into a format where they give us a bunch of jewels, or not a bunch, at least that 1,400, as well as these gems. I don't know why they're pouring gems onto us so badly. Was it just, I don't know, the top players just needed gems but not jewels? I don't know. I always want to say that this game moves to cater to that top that top percentage of people that are paying thousands and thousands of dollars. But that's just my opinion. I would rather have the jewels as someone who does not uh who doesn't pay too much. So I pay into the VIP and then just spend wisely from there. And then occasional spending for really really good stuff. It doesn't happen very often though. All right, well, that is the Gauntlet Quest, which, again, I'm not too particularly fond of. We went over the Weekly Gem Quest as well as a guide for it. And the last thing is going to be our VIP bonuses, which is going to be, of course, the remaining for Illustrated Pride Land Sora, which is, again, really good because it is a great raid medal because it only buffs your strength. It restores four gauges, which is always good, so it's a buffer and gauge restorer. If you get extra attack on it, essentially, it can... Like, it can almost replace your 0.2 Kyrie in raid setups. Uh, but you'll also get the plus 1,400 jewels, so paying for the VIP will actually net you a total of 4,400 jewels, plus the Illustrated Pride Land Sora, as well as more gems. Hey, more gems. Of course, it's always more gems. It's like, this is what they're going to give us now instead of giving us jewels. Um... Which is appreciated. I definitely love getting gems because, again, they help you they help you get better at the game without relying on random number generating. So gems are always good. They're always appreciated. Um, and then we have VIP Magic Mirror Quests, probably because we just had a special attack bonus campaign. And this is just to squeeze out those extra remaining uh, percentages that we didn't get. And you're going to get all the quests unlocked up until the end of the week. So I believe that is everything. Oh, no, no, no. I do want to talk about this too. So maintenance happening tomorrow slash today, depending on what time zone you're in. 7.5 hours, meaning make sure you log on. Otherwise, you will get screwed like I did one day and then you missed it you hit into the maintenance and it didn't count you logging on so that just hurts me personally because i've been here since the start of the game but the days don't total up to it because of two incidences again one it doesn't register you logging in between 12 a.m and 4 a.m pst and two if you run into a maintenance problem you still don't get the uh the login for the day so make sure you do that but what this means, and they've already announced it on Twitter, is that we are getting those super awesome pets that were released in Japan. What they do is they give you a six slot to do more damage. So, super excited to see those. They're also super adorable. They let you dress up the pets. I mean, it's totally, totally fan servicing the people that are in this for really cute stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't explored the mechanic too much because I love keeping up with just the regular global version versus the Japanese version. Because keeping up with the Japanese version just makes me feel like we are getting the short end of the stick. So I try not to delve into that too much. Uh, but with that being said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them in that comment section below. And I will try my best to answer them. And until the next video, everyone, take it easy.